Today I'm working with their Zuri tissue paper. This is from Redesigned by Prima. It's the Mulberry tissue paper. And this one comes with uh, patterns of succulents. And you can either put the two panels together and make one complete picture. It comes in two panels. Or you can cut it up and use it for uh, whatever project you're working on. And today I'm going to be working with this box. It's kind of like a little caddy and it has four sections in it. I'm using my one hour enamel. Our varnish also works well with this tissue paper. Or yes, you can use Mod Podge. You're going to first apply your glue. You're going to lay down your tissue paper. And then you're going to put your second coat of the uh, whatever glue you're using here. I'm using the one hour enamel. And I'm going to be doing three sides. I'm going to allow that to dry and then I'll do my last side um, just because it's easier for, you know, drying, laying it down if having one side free. Now, the only way I can describe this tissue paper, it kind of feels like a dryer sheet. It's not as thin and fragile as you would a napkin or the Roy Cycle tissue paper. So it's very, very easy to work with. If anybody has a fear of decoupaging, this is definitely the product you want to start with. So now that my three sides are dry, I'm taking an 80 grit sandpaper and I'm kind of just going around the edges. Now remember, this box had scalloped edge. I'm going to show you how easy it is, even with a curved edge, um, just hitting that edge with the sandpaper and it just basically cuts it right off. Now for small projects like this, you don't have to get expensive sandpaper. I just grabbed mine right at the dollar store. And because this tissue paper is a little on the thicker side, um, it's not uncommon to maybe have some edges that didn't completely adhere, um, especially the areas that you're sanding. So I always, once all my sanding's done, I do do another coat of uh, my one hour enamel varnish or your Mod Podge. So again, you're just hitting the edges and the dry tissue paper is just basically just cutting right on that edge and coming off quite easily. It's my last section. And now we're gonna do our final uh, panel on this box. And I'm applying my one hour enamel. Adding the tissue paper. Wiping my finger across it. This is not like uh, a napkin, this will not tear. And making sure it's adhered to my project and then doing my final coat of the one hour enamel. Again, if you have our varnish, that works just as fine. And again, once dry, I'm going around with my piece of sandpaper right on the edge and cutting the excess paper off. And now you have this cute caddy. Now once my project's all together, I do do one last coat of the varnish. And this just cleans up all my edges after sanding and all that. And then I'm going to let that dry. So for my caddy, I'm taking this green moss and these small mason jars that I got from the dollar store, the, the moss and the mason jars and these little succulents I also got from the dollar store. And I'm placing one succulent in each jar and I'm putting that in my caddy. You can use this caddy for arts and craft supplies. You can use it for silverware, um, Lots of options here. 
I just chose the succulents because that's what the tissue paper has. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitafancy.com. For any paint products, brushes, transfers, or tissue paper, such as this succulent paper, chalkitafancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.